As we reflect on Father's Day, there's lots of places in Scripture where we can learn from God about being, our fa- being a father because he is our ultimate father. And so there's a story that I want to point to here just briefly today that Jesus tells a story about the prodigal son. And you may be familiar with that story. It's found in uh, the book of Luke chapter 15. And so the story goes like this. There's a father and he has two sons and they work the farm, they work his land, which was typical. And the younger son comes to the father and says, hey, I'm, I'm done with this. I, I want to go. I want my inheritance. I want to leave and just go and do what I want to do. And the father hears him and says, okay. So he gives him the inheritance and he's grieved that the son is leaving, but he lets him go. And while he's away, he makes some poor choices. He spends all his money. He gets in a bunch of trouble. He ends up totally alone with nothing, sleeping with pigs in a pig pen, right? And so he comes back to dad eventually after a while and comes back and comes kind of groveling and a bit more humble than maybe when he left and tells dad he's ready to come back and even just work the farm if that's all that he'll he'll let him do. The sons come back and the father says to his servants, quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine who was dead is alive again. He was lost and he's now found. And so they began to celebrate. And so not only was the younger son a little bit confused, but the the older son was also confused because he said, hey, I've been here. I stuck around. I've been with you this whole time. You haven't thrown me a party. You just, you're just going on and I'm just working and now he comes back and we have a party. And the father says to him, my son, the older son, you are always with me and everything that I have is yours. But we had to celebrate and be glad because of your brother. He was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is now found. And so we can learn so much in the dad's reaction, number one, to his son who left, but then also to his son who was kind of questioning, hey, what about me, right? So as we look to attributes of God, we look to the fact that God is love. And the Bible tells us that, and that love is what this dad was showing to both of his sons, quite honestly, but also very much so to his younger son who was gone and came back. And that we learn about God's love, it is never ending, never failing. And 1 John 4, 16 tells us, God is love and all who live in love in God and God lives in them. God is love and he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. God is love and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. No matter what that younger son did, no matter what he did, the father loved him. Just like, no matter what we do, God loves us. May he be frustrated? Yes. May he be sad at some choices? Yes. But he loved us ultimately. And that's the way we should love, the way we love our children. We may be, we may be frustrated with some choices they make, but ultimately we have a never-ending love for them. The dad in this story also exhibited true patience, right? And that's what God asks of us as parents, as people, to have patience and care and gentleness with our children. Second Peter 3, 9 says, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understood snow, slowness. Instead, he is patient with you, not wanting you, anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. So the dad in our story waited and waited, but then ultimately his son came home. And lastly, one of the things that this dad showed on his, both of his sons was mercy. He could have been harsh on the son. He could have been harsh on either of them for kind of the way they spoke with their dad or the way they acted, the choices they made. But he, like our heavenly father, showed mercy on his sons. And Deuteronomy helps us understand God's mercy in 431. 
For the Lord your God is merciful God. He will not abandon you or destroy you or forget the covenant with your ancestors, which he has confirmed to them by oath. There are so many attributes of God that we want to try to learn to understand. As dads today, if we can continue to show love, patience, mercy with our children, we will set them up to be successful leaders of their own. If we continue to show them that we are seeking to be like God each and every day, then we pray that they will make those choices as well.